um i didn't know how to start this video off honestly um most of the time you know i just run a a cool little intro but i feel like today was a little bit different um what's good it's the mayor <laughs> um for the last like week and a half to going on two weeks i have been the mayor of the south city vipers if you don't know what that is um that means that you're either stuck on last gen and you have refused to see any content from next gen or you just live under a rock so the south city vipers is an affiliation within nba 2k21 next gen now becoming the mayor it was honestly a a goal of mine that i didn't even know i had the ability or chance to even hit first off let me just say thank you to the 66 percent of the voters who voted me to become mayor without i guess you guys may know who i am or you may know like of me but thank y'all for showing me that much support secondly we got we got a lot of business to get down to um the first thing that i need from y'all being my constituents or whatever you want to call it gamers it don't matter i need y'all to tell me about all the problems you are having in nba 2k21 on next gen it doesn't matter what console you on it doesn't matter what affiliation you're in but tell me what the issues are that you're having because i have a meeting coming up with 2k and i need to make sure that i bring everything to the table all right secondly there is a lot of people out there well not many because you know 66 percent of the vote you know landslide but there are some people who didn't want me to become mayor because they said my rep level wasn't high enough but if you've known me forever i've never been a rep grinder i've never been somebody chasing top rep now i i may have been chasing a couple dollars here and there but I've never really chased top rep. I'm more so chase laughs and having fun with the homies. So when it comes to people who want me to grind rep and be this and be that, why don't you carry me in a game? Why don't you say, yo, pie, we, we some of the top rep grinders out here. We want to know if you want to come play with us. Hit me up. Hit me up on Twitter join my discord my discord link is below i constantly ask people a lot to play the game with me but there's always people who say oh well you know i don't, I don't know if i have time but these be the same people playing the game for 10 hours straight so if you're a top rep grinder hit me up i'm available i stream what four to six hours a day on a day on a day-to-day -day basis let me know what you guys want to do it ain't about nothing so, um thirdly as far as the vipers courts go i know that a lot of people been hitting me up asking about when will the vipers courts get a redesign honestly we have to start winning these rival days we have to start winning these events we have to do more within the park everybody that's chasing that top top rep grind yeah the christmas noobs are out and stuff like that they all ran back to the wreck we need something to give us more. And I believe that the whole earning 50% when you're playing on an opposing court is completely wrong. I think that players should earn double the rep when they're playing in the opposite court, when they're playing against a squad from that court. That's how I feel. If I'm a Viper and I go over to the Knights or I go over to the Beasts or I go over to the Wildcats and we play maybe... Uh, uh, the first squad was a, a beast, a, a viper, and a, maybe a, a, a knight or something like that. Once we beat them and somebody comes on a squad spot and knows, and that team is from that part, the people that are sitting on the guy next should earn double rep because they're in the opposing court. We need more rep. Now, granted, 2K has given us more events. They've given us... You know, Wacky Wednesdays, Ruffles, Double in a Wreck. Um, they've given us like all of these different types of events like the Kia Challenge. And, you know, they, they've been giving us these warehouse challenges to make new builds. That's great. But we really need more rep to play at opposing courts. That will give the Vipers uh, the ability to say we can win Rival Day. That will give the players that may be on the fence of, 
A, do I become a beast? Do I become a wildcat? Do I become a knight? Or do I, do I become a viper? Maybe if they see vipers taking over all these other courts, you know what I'm saying, and holding them down for 10 game streaks or more, maybe that may, might make people say, hold on. The Viper's doing something. Maybe we need to go over there and see what's going on. Let, let me go change affiliations. And granted, if you want to rock with us, come on over to the Vipers. I don't know if you guys seen Agent Stream. I made Agent change from a Knight to a Viper. And we ran up a streak in my part. It's just facts. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys want to get down with the Viper game, let me know. But really, this video was only to tell you guys that I'm the mayor. Let y'all know that I am available, you know what I'm saying, for any games or any issues you may be having with the game. Some people may take me not responding to tweets as, oh, he didn't see my tweet. When I screenshot your tweet and I be at and Ronnie, Mike Wang and all of them all the time in discourse, Twitter DMs and stuff like that about the issues that's going on with the game. So trust me, I do see your tweets. I do see your messages, but definitely tap in. Come to my Discord server. If you guys want to run it up, I'm always available. And my watch is going crazy. Let me turn my phone on. Do not disturb. But back to what I was saying. Hit me up. I'm always available. Make sure you guys tell me about all the issues that you're having inside the comment section. And for other people that may have an issue and it's the same issue as someone else's, hit the like button on their comments in the comment section. If you feel like that, that same problem is happening to you, hit the like button on their comment. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Like the video. I don't care. Do Interact more with each other. You know what I'm saying? One, one thing that I've found out is that everybody is starting to get to that, that point where they say the game is this and the game is that. They're not having fun. They want to see more. I've always said to people over the last 10 years, how can you dribble a basketball differently? How can you shoot a basketball differently? How can you dunk a basketball differently? How can you block a, bas a basketball differently? The mechanics of basketball will always be relatively the same. It's just, we want 2K to make sure that their game is working 100% when it drops. We shouldn't have to go through 15 patches to make sure that the game is perfectly molded. And then three to maybe five months later, a new game is ready to come out. That's where I know a lot of people have the, their gripes with 2K. And I'm with you. I am totally 100% with you. There are days when I boot up my PS5 and I say, all right, I'm, I'm gonna grind 2K for four hours. Then I'll be like, you know what? Nah, let me go ahead and play some Apex. Or recently, I've been playing Shinobi Striker. You know what I mean? Games like that. I've been playing GTA role playing stuff like that. A lot of my homies been on Rust lately. So trust me, I understand that you guys have an issue with a game that comes out every year and it comes out and needs a lot of patches. People are using losing my players. People are losing VC. I understand all that. But just reach out to me, tap in with me, and I guarantee I got y'all. Cause that's what I do. I, I argue with people for a living. You know what I mean? I have no problem arguing somebody down. You know what I mean? Like th this one thing that y'all need to understand. I'm not on 2K's payroll. Neither is any other creator. Creators that do not work for 2K are not on their payroll. So when y'all reach out to these creators and y'all be thinking like, man, 2K paying these, they're not paying nobody, bro. Just get that through your mind. They're, we're not on their payroll. If you say that you have an issue with 2K, let's, let's say somebody lost their my player, right? They'll reach out to me on Twitter. And, I, and I'll be like, dang, that's crazy. And then I'll reach out to LD2K or Ronnie2K. I'll be like, yo, is there anything that you guys can do? I'm doing a backdoor deal. I'm not, I'm not going to 2K support and trying to put in a ticket for you, my guy. I'm going to the source. I'm saying, yo, Mike. Somebody had some type of issue. Is there any way we could resolve this? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. And if somebody, and they come back and say, oh, dude was VC glitching, ain't nothing we could do. My hands are tied. Because you came to me with an issue on why you lost something and then didn't tell me the full truth. So as long as you guys are coming to me with the truth, everything should be getting worked out. 
You know what I'm saying? I've had plenty of people come to me recently about builds, about VC, stuff like that, why the game might not be launching, why Zion start screen takes so long, and I've been writing all of this stuff down. So when I do have a meeting with 2K, I can lay all these things out, but make sure y'all keep it 100 with me. Do not lie to me. So when I go to 2K, I start looking like a fool because I am the mayor. And as the mayor, I got to make sure I got all my ducks in a row and that I got all the facts. So don't say that, yo, uh, 2K banned me and then come to find out somebody reported you for boosting and they got all the footage. Please don't lie to me, dog. So listen, man, I appreciate y'all for watching this video. I don't care if it was lengthy. Appreciate y'all. I'm going to see you on the next video, man.